what it really means to live life golden Yeah, we're golden, baby girl, we're golden Yeah, I'm about to see it shine Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. So in this video, we're gonna downgrade an iPhone 5. Yes, the iPhone 5, we're gonna downgrade it from iOS 10.3.4 to any version of iOS, all right? Yes, a couple of, I think a year ago or two ago, I made a video of downgrading an iPhone 5 to iOS 8, but now you can downgrade to any version of iOS you like, okay? Six, seven, eight, nine, you name it, all right? So in this video, we're gonna download this iPhone 5, and guess what? This is a red iPhone 5, a custom-made iPhone 5 right there, look at that. Let me take off this case. Look at that. A very special, special iPhone 5. And we're gonna download this thing from 10.3.4 to 7, yeah, 7.0, yeah. Cause I already have an iOS 6 device, which is right here. And if I turn this phone on, you can kind of see the old Apple logo. See right there iOS 6, settings, about. This is real deal iOS 6, iPhone 5. There, don't need another one, right? So that's why I'm gonna downgrade this thing to 10, uh, to 10, to 7.0. All right, let's go. Okay, so the tool here is called Nightshade. Yes, Nightshade, it is created by, I think maybe it's a Mr. or maybe a Miss, Cyanook. Okay, so thank you to Cyanook for making the downgrade tool. Again, here you can see there for the A6. So this downgrade tool is working for the A6 and the A6X. As you can see right there, this is also a tether downgrade. So you need to be connected to a computer to turn it on. But I think that's pretty okay, okay? So you have to scroll down. You go here, download can be downloaded from here. You click that and then you scroll there. You can see right now the current version is period 11, released by Synox 16 hours ago of recording this video. You click here, download, okay? and then it will download the real thing, so yeah. Okay, now once you download the zip, you're just gonna go to ipsw.me, find the IPS, IPSW that you want. I'm gonna try to download to 7.0.2 because why not? Okay, and there you go. Just uh, wait for those things to download and I'll be right back. Okay, next thing you have to do is unzip the file. Here's the app right here, as you can see there, Nightshade. Now you gotta bring your iPhone, connect it to the computer and Go to DFV mode by pressing power and home for 10 seconds and hold the home button again for another 10 seconds. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let go of the power button and keep holding the home button for another 10 seconds. And there we go until the finders show up. Alright, it's longer, it's no longer iTunes, okay? So once the finders show up like this. Next, you're gonna go to brew.sh and copy this little text because we need homebrew in order to install lib USB mobile. Once that's done, you're gonna open up terminal and then I'm gonna paste this little command. So basically this command will install homebrew. I will put this command in the description. Now hit enter and it turn. And tap in your Mac user, not username, was it Mac password? Next, you gotta type in brew space install space lib mobile install device and click enter. Okay, next, you gotta type in this command brew space install dash dash hats dash mobile device dash dash g. But we'll put in the description again, hit enter, and it should work. Okay, because you need lib mobile device in order for the downgrade to work. Okay, next, you're gonna go ahead and install this brew install iDevice installer dash dash g. Hit enter again. Okay, so once you install all of these, we're gonna go on terminal and open up Nightshade. Nightshade, just right click and it open because it will ask for, you know, it can't open when you double click it. Now look at this, a nice user interface for the downgrade. It will restore IPSW, select IPSW up there and find your IPSW. Okay, so here's mine, 5.2, 7.0.2, it opened. And now we're gonna put your phone in the FEMO by pressing power and home button for 10 seconds. So now to make sure, just open up Finder and it will detect it in recovery mode. Yes, it is. Okay, click, click Command Q and hit restore. And sadly, we got an error. So if you got the same error as me, fail to enter your phone in the FEMO, stick around to the video on how to solve this little problem. 
Okay, so I got an error. It said it just keeps saying fail to go to pawn DFE mode. So now I'm trying beta 10 here. So let's just unzip it and open up Nightshade. Right click, open, and it open. And this is beta 9. Yes, let me just clear one more time and it open again. Yep, okay, we're opening beta 9. Put my phone in DFE mode. Okay, make sure it's on recovery mode. So yes, it is. Okay, now we're gonna go to restore APSW. Select the APSW, 7.0.2, open, restore. And Nightshade quit unexpectedly. Wow, that's fucking great. Okay, so Nightshade just quit unexpectedly. Let's click again here, restore. 7.0.2 open restore okay beta 10 is not working let's try beta 9 i don't know it's a little weird man why is this is not working okay unzip it why are you hiding restore select ipsw scroll down 7.0.2 open restore okay now we're going up to another progress it's del ibss Come on, you can do it iPhone, iPhone 5, you can do it, yes, married iPhone 5, you can do this my baby, come on, okay, executing, and okay, we got a little, a little thingy that says, what is it called, owned by Sinook, and doing the thing, so um, we made kind of progress with beta 9, and there's the verbose boot, so it works again for the second time, but the last time I tried it yesterday, it's stuck on midway and this immediately saying fail to restore device and then my device just suddenly blanks. So I have to restore it to iOS 10 again to make it work. But again here, we'll see if, if this is a hit or miss. I guess they never miss. And hopefully it works, alright? Come on, mom. Please work, okay? It's okay, so I'll be right back once there's another progress if this is thing an error or something. I don't know. Done. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so it's actually saying done right now. Now, your phone will stay on a blank screen, as you see right there. So what you do, you gonna click on back, click on boot tattered, and we're gonna press boot here, and then we're gonna go to DFE mode again by again pressing power and home button. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there we go. Checkmate by Axiom X, grooming HEAP, preparing for all of the things, and just wait for it to boot. Okay, looks like beta 9 give us a little promise. Ooh, finally. Okay, so we got another fail to enter pawn recovery mode. Oh boy. Okay, so let's just try this again here. Okay, so the text that right here. Okay, so we just Put nightshade and open it up again. Okay, nightshade and uh, boot chatter, press boot. Okay, it's going again. Executing, not device light up. We got the codes. Ooh, done. Okay, it says done right here. Look at that, guys. The amazing verbose boot. All right, we love verbose boot. Okay, now we got the app logo, we got the, looks like the file loading bar. And my friends, looks like beta 9 is the magic as of right now recording this video, December 21st, 2019. The latest beta for me not working that much. So looks like beta 9 it is for me. Okay, we got the final app logo. It vibrated and setup screen, come on. Setup screen and Okay, look at that, no SIM card installed.
just slide in and lock it again okay my friends we successfully downgraded now let's set this baby up okay my friends after numerous tries Bane and I does the job for this red iPhone 5 now with the setup screen let's set up iOS 7.0.2 all right okay my friends we successfully downgrade this iPhone 5 from 10.3.4 to 7.0.2 thanks to Nightshade created by Sinook in 3, 2, 1. Boom! My friends, oh my god. What achievements have we made? Look at that slow animation again. My friends, we successfully downgraded. Look at that. 7.0.2 thanks to Nightshade from Sinook. Everything works. Camera, let's see. Let's just check one more time here. Camera works, okay. Front camera. Okay, front camera works very, very good. Wow. I tried beta, the latest beta, I think beta 11 or beta 12. I thought beta, beta 12, beta 12, and then beta, beta 8, or oh, beta 10. Beta 10 and then beta 9. Beta 9 does the job. I do have some hiccups there, fail to, you know, fail to make the device to go to Pond DFU. And then finding out you have to install the USB and all those things. But yeah, all of those things are worth it, man. The phone is rebooted. The phone is boot rebooted. The phone has installed iOS 7.0.2. We successfully downgraded this baby up. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to turn the phone on real quick here. Okay, let's turn it off real quick and see that old arrow. Okay, so your phone has died and we need to boot it back in. So all you have to do... Yes, of course, open up Nightshade, lock your phone, and you can see right there, we're just gonna show this little blank. It's just gonna be blank. No Apple logo, no iTunes logo, or nada. So what you have to do is go to DFU mode. So power and home button for 10 seconds, and then the home button for another 10 seconds until your Finder or your iTunes pop up. Okay, so mine's popped up right, right there. And then go to Boot Tattered and hit Boot. That's easy. Okay, now you have some kind of error, you know, like the fail to go to Pond DFU. Just redo it again. Restart your phone by pressing power and home button, like I see right here. Fail to enter Pond DFU mode, Pond Recovery mode. So you're just gonna press and hold the power and home button. Okay, and then let go again. Or the, let go and then press the home button again. Close Nightshade, open up Nightshade again, boot tattered, boot. Okay, so that time just stuck on preparing for override. Let's try this again, the device not compatible. All right, so let's try this again. Yeah, we have to be patient, guys. Nothing in this world comes you know, immediately like that. So we just have to be patient and repeat and repeat and repeat. All right, shows up again. Quit Nightshade, open up Nightshade, boot tattered, boot. Fail to enter phone recovery. What the hell? Okay, let's try this again here. Uh, it's now on downloading IBSS. So hopefully that shows some progress. So I tried it three times. So if you guys say, oh, it's keep failing, it's keep failing. Hey, I'm not gonna show an uncut video, right? I'm not gonna show a cut video and immediately all the stuff working all right as you can see i tried three times trying even booting the phone up three times try to install try to try to, try to install ios 7 with different version of nightshade and find the sweet spot it's beta 9 and right now it's working and as you can see right there says done phone's now on for a boost mood and that's the key here all right this downgrade key of the of this downgrade the key is you have to be patient and keep trying okay just try it on beta 9 or maybe you can try the latest beta and will it will maybe work for you but for me beta 9 works the greatest i guess okay because it successfully done with the phone and successfully boot the phone you can see right there phone booted back to 7.0.2 and yeah that's the key all right you have to be patient just keep trying unplug your unplug replug the phone quit um, reopen nightshade and maybe restart the computer but at least the key is again be patient and install lip usb and homebrew okay that's the key for the downgrade okay guys so 
that is the video of today i'm sorry it's a little bit long because again i'm not showing the gun cut version i'm gonna show you guys the progress of me getting through ios 7 installed on this red iphone 5 and yeah so thank you guys for watching this video and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out